What is up guys, this is Kai from Kai Creative. Today we are reviewing the DJI Ronin S. It came out in May of 2018 and is taking the filmmaking world by storm. And what better place to test it out than the largest modern pop culture event in the UK, London MCM Comic Con. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another filmmaking video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe for more filmmaking and video related content. So today I'm joined by videographer and filmmaker extraordinaire Sharky Cole and we're going to be reviewing the DJI Ronin S. Here we have the box, this is the box it comes in, uh, really nicely packaged. Though one of the downsides to this particular box is that once you've balanced it and you want to put it back into the box, you have to unbalance it again, which is an annoying thing, but we can forget about that for now. That's, that's perfectly fine. I'm just, I'm just going to go into setting it up. You have the lens support here, if you have a heavy lens, and you have the, uh, which I believe is a riser here, it also helps add a bit of weight if you have a really light camera. This is the cable that I will be using today. Um, I'm setting it up with my A6300 right here, tripod leg right here. Very useful when you want to put it down. So useful so you don't have to hold it all day. And this is the handle. The battery is actually in the handle here. It's convenient in the sense that you don't have to carry any ba batteries with you in your pockets, which is good. It's inconvenient because if you want to charge it, it's you have to have the main gimbal attached to it. The, I believe the stated battery life for this is 12 hours. I've only, for the amount of time I've used this, it's only ever gone down by one, one little bar here. I have the focus wheel here. I've taken it off just so it doesn't add a bit of extra weight on it. At the moment, I don't use any pull focusing. I just put it on a very wide aperture and just get the wide shots I need. So this is the main gimbal. This is where you're being putting the camera on. I put the strap on here because I'm tidy like that. Let's move this to the center. So what you do, this actually slides on to the handle right here like this and you lock it on with this Lock it on like that. That's the gimbal right there without anything on it. Oh! <laughs> so I've literally been holding it for five minutes now. And yeah, you can start feeling it on your yeah. on your arm. I'm gonna try the um, try it like a slider. and smile you're on camera so what we're mounting now is a 5d mark IV with the 24 to 105 millimeter lens as well as a video mic pro on the top there so you slide the plate in like this and there's a locking bit so obviously lock unlock slide to lock that in it's literally just micro movements what should happen once i start balancing the the front and back and if I hold it like that, that's this bit balanced right here. Right. Once I start balancing this bit right here, I should be able to push it up there. It will stick in that position, stick it there, and it will stick in that position. So right there's now. three sections essentially yeah. that need to be balanced correctly. Yeah, everyone forgets about this bit and you've really got to make sure this bit is balanced. Obviously the gimbal can sort of handle it, but you want to balance it as best you can. I usually, go onto my phone, there's, a band, there's an app for it. Um, turn the gimbal on. You'll see it move into action in a minute. So that's the gimbal on right there. Um, it connects via Bluetooth. So I connect that right there. So that's connected. And what I usually do, I always test the balance on this thing. So you balance test. And this thing will move right here. So what I do after that is I always auto-tune it. 
Um, medium is fine for most things. I always keep mine at medium, even though I have a light setup. Um, turn it to light, it just uses a bit less power, but I'm just gonna auto tune it right here. And it's gonna, you're gonna see the gimbal move. It's gonna make weird noises, but it does that, it's fine. So you do this process every time? This is what I do, yeah, just to so make sure everything after is... After you've done the manual, you let the auto-tune fill in the rest? Yeah. If you wanted to, you can even move the gimbal with your phone. Um, nice. If you yeah, wanted you need to. to hold it, you just mount it up and if you, auto -move. If, if you want to do that. I've never used it for this, so I always use sort of like almost an analog stick right here. <laughs> It's on mode three at the moment. What I've done, I've set mode three to fast panning and the rubber banding is high sensitivity, which means that I put in very little movement and it pans with me, basically. So the DJI Ronin S boasts a large amount of capabilities and functions, but how does it perform in the field? Let's find out. So let's go, we'll go outside, see if we can get some cosplayers, do some cosplays. I'll try and do half with slow-mo and half without slow-mo just because yeah. um, it'll still look cool in slow-mo if you're, if you're doing like 360 yeah. shots. function of the DJI Rodin S is the trigger button that Sharky showed me. If you uh, triple click it, it goes into selfie mode, which, you know, even with two hands seems to be quite of a strain. And then if you double click it, it goes back to straight. Batman, Hello. can we film you? <laughs> So it retails for 669 yes. in the UK. Yes, that's right. Would you say that that is a fair price? Yes, definitely. For the price, it's great. You're gonna, like with the Ronin M, it's gonna go a bit above that price. Ronin S, um, if, you, if you just want to run and gun, this is still perfect. For the price, it works, it works. So I personally have a slider, a jib crane, and a glide cam. So those three things, would you say those are like all of those three things in one? Uh, Does this replace the slider, the crane, and the glide cam? If you get used to it, then I would probably say yes. So that's the DJI Ronin S. Hopefully you found this content useful. If you did, please do share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kai Creative. Also go check out Sharky Cole on his YouTube channel and other social medias will be down in the box below. Be sure to comment, get involved in the community. If there's any filmmaking content that you want to see in the future, do let us know. And that's it from us, guys. I will see you guys next time on Kai Creative.